Do y'all see who we have in? Do y'all see who we have All the way from across the Who do we have? We have a guy that I can close the Y'all already know. Look, let our viewers know what is your IG handle or your Facebook. Um, probably IG, because that's the word that's going That's out. true, that's true. Um, so our IG handle is Fahrenheit Skates. Oh, yeah. Fahrenheit Skates. Mm-hmm. All right, so please let me know how long have you been skating? Hold on, first of all, let me get it together. Yes. Yeah. Let the viewers know where you're from. I'm from London, England. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But do you have your skates around? Where your skates Oh, uh, my skates are in the bag. I've only just got here because it took like an hour. Yeah, and I was yeah, like, you don't oh. want to wear the furry shorts. I do, yeah. I do. Uh, <laughs> I've been watching furry shorts about 50 years now. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> oh, he, he That's definitely true. show up to everybody. That's true. Party. That's true. Oh, we, are, we definitely like the footage of the furry joints. You know what I'm mean? saying? <laughs> but let us know how long you've been skating. Um, well, in, in America, for about, for about two, well, over 20 years in America and period, I would say over 30 years. Yeah. Probably more than that. Yeah. A little bit more than 35 years. Give or take. So you've been traveling for 20 years? Yeah. I was the first black skater, as you guys all know. Nobody had seen like a black skater come over here before in the early 2000s. Really? So I was very much by myself. And then I just became a part of the community, you know? So, um, uh, so how did you make it over here? Like, did you see something on social media or YouTube or like? No, well, there was no social media when I was, like, you know, when I was first coming here. So it was just like, just random adverts that people would, like, would post on things like, um, MySpace was, was still uh, prevalent there. Yeah. So that's all oh, my thing. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it wasn't like how it is now. Um, so I just looked at a flyer, a skate flyer, and I just, I just decided just to take a leap of faith and just, and just take my boss. And it just happened to be at an event in Atlanta. So, so we have to carry skate the state. Yeah. To England, how was the skate world? Skate uh, community. Well, in, in England currently, um, it's, it's quite new. There's a, there's a huge influx of brand new skaters. Uh, it was actually that in this bit with the old guy. But a lot of the old skaters were actually hockey players. Um, so we play like a lot of street hockey, which explains the street style of skating. It's very, very aggressive. Um, and, uh, it's on concrete a lot of the time. There's no couple skating like that. It's very much a solo event. Oh, when they skate back, they Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, so that chopping style, like one cause, yeah. its origins is actually from hockey. So it's, it enables you to get off really, really quickly with a hockey stick. And the only way you can do it is if you're moving your feet. And that's the true origins of what hockey is. But a lot of the news, they don't really know. They just, they just see like, oh, that's a style, but. It come from something. It has a function. I know the question. So, so where does you come on? Yeah, you have your own skate company, your own skate brand. Oh man, that came out of real frustration um, with Fahrenheit. Not having, I saw with like Richard Humphrey not really getting the credence and the, and the risk in the skate world. I mean. So whereas you have people like Michelle Style and Moffy being able to just walk in and get a skate deal. Richard Humphreys is known all over the world, pre-internet. I mean, it's really hard. Can you imagine like, being famous all over the world, pre-internet? You can't get a skate deal. Wow. Something like Michelle could just walk in and have a multi-million pound uh, dollar deal. So I'm saying that she doesn't work hard, but so the origins of Fahrenheit really come from that. It's like, well, we'll just build the thing for ourselves. And that's really it. Right. So we've got like funding, uh, we've got like um, business partners and myself. I've worked very, very hard, and now uh, we've, we've uh, come yeah, about with Fahrenheit yeah, and True yeah. Origins. So I they hope that everybody actually too. supports it because uh, as much as we love skates, how many of these skate companies are here to, to ed- come into any of these events? Truly, somebody. They know where you are when they want to sell you something, but where are they when they actually want to come and support? When was the last time for any of the legacy brands? Like Adia, like Rydell, come along and say, hey, guys, you guys have been pushing our product for so many years. We're on the show for you. We're going to help you 
for, for, for the um, cost that the, that the court may pay for. It's never happened in history. Yet, skaters, and I'm trying to perhaps to do deals with them. They're saying, well, oh, but I want to wait for my deal with Rydell and I want to get sponsored by these same companies that are doing your own. And it's nothing. I promise it's nothing. I'm really proud of you. Bill, and take a lot. And get a deal. Right, right. I'm not going to stay in the middle. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't get the respect that that's true. That's true. It gives us the rest of us no hope. And I just. And we've done really, really well. Um, so out of that, I signed Laurent. Um, I know that you've interviewed him before. Of course. No, no. Right. And, um, Laurent's now, uh, Benjamin, uh, the HBO show, uh, called Bowler Jab, which is probably going to come out later on this year on HBO Max. And Baron Heights is next to those I was about to ask, what else do you have coming up? Yeah. So, we're waiting for the first to be aired. Um, in fact, so, Heights involved in all six episodes. Um, I can't say too much because I signed an NDA. Okay. Um, so yeah, so we're hoping to have this ready in time for the launch of that. Okay, Ronnie. Yeah, yeah. Because we've we've launched the the women. You'll see lots of women in the Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what we've got. Lately. So we've been really, really well with them. It's gonna happen, baby. It's gonna I know it's just definitely it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. I, I believe in the community. That's the point. And you know? we do patronize and we yeah. do support. So don't believe just because you're across the pine. No, thank you. See you. Thank you. I thank know you. I see you. You've been my it, guy since it's I started. It's crazy because yeah. before this interview, I had no clue. Really? I had no. Well, I knew you from England. I just said so that you know, <laughs> pretty much knee deep into the skate community. Uh, like that. So he'll show up past in the first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you start saying he'll show up past the people that live in Atlanta, suing Atlanta event and support. Yeah, that's true. And then the whole time he been dropping chills. I thought we were listening to him while he been dropping. That was a real fact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's plenty more jokes to come, but I have to say that. Yeah, you know. Even though even though I said. On the second interview, how you liking Atlanta so far? Um, I know you've been here multiple times. Yeah, oh, yeah. But how you liking it? Right, yeah. Oh, right, that was amazing, man. And I, and this is we're only halfway through the weekend, right? But like, Atlanta never, never, never disappoints. Apart from the traffic, but outside of that, fit wise, it's yeah, I just said the traffic don't count. Hey, why was you on the highway? If you traveling on the highway, you're not from the. Yeah, no, but as far as the state world's concerned, no, it's amazing. And again, just like in, in, in England, you guys have got a brand new generation of skaters that I'm unfamiliar with. So I'm trying to familiarize myself with a lot of these new next gen skaters. And for me, it's really they start like this. Yeah, they, they start in a lot of our family sessions. Yeah, ooh, they made me feel old by the time they actually make it to the adult session. Yeah. What they like? Yeah, I know. And then the next thing you know, they're like running rings around. Yeah, that's the crazy part because I remember me when I first came back in the middle. Yeah. Now his son, he made it. Right. And I'm looking at him like, yeah. I remember you with this one. Yeah. <laughs> like, wait a minute. And then there's other kids where I used to go to the family session with them. Now they come over on Cascade Sunday nights with me, skating with me. To my big bro, come on. Wait, wait. So oh, the family calling you from. <laughs> I'm like, wait, wait. They all praise your So yeah, um, but I, I definitely would, before we wrap, I definitely want to give a shout out to um, KX, um, who are working with Fahrenheit with Fire and Heights to help, um, with the distribution. Yeah. Um, and we I don't know how much I'm allowed to say. I'm about to get murdered for this, but that we're building the world's biggest roller skating rink. Yeah. He's yeah. in the world, big world. I mean, I gotta get the, 
I gotta get Yeah, it's gonna be known as Power and Hide Escape. That's gonna be epic. Yeah. We're gonna have to pull out the passports and get that. Yeah, no, you, you won't have to travel very far, but I can't tell you where it is. Just put us up. It's in America. It. Oh, it's here. We're building it here. Please don't, I'm gonna say it right now. Please do not say Atlanta. We got two minutes stated. I ain't gonna be in Atlanta. I, I can't say, say, I can't say. say. We I'm gonna you where I feel like it's gonna be. What do you think it's gonna be? Sorry. I feel like it's gonna be in Carolina. What do you reckon it's gonna be? I say, thank you. Zero. And wherever it's gonna be, it's gonna be the south. That's what I do know. Give me a hand. I can't give you a hand. Give me a hand. North, south, east, west. I can't. Oh, oh listen. I'm you can't build, not, you can't build nothing on the west coast. It costs too much money and it's too much planning and all that. Look, I'm just trying to switch past it. Cause that's where I'm from. I don't care. I'm playing. Bye. Bye. <laughs> you said we have to. I'm in Texas or Louisiana. One of those two. Why do you say Utah? It's so much better than Utah. Colorado. Hey, I'm in it. It's not Atlanta. We are full retarded. Okay, I'll say this. It's not in Atlanta. You like that already. I'll that's all I'm going to say. I'm there. Okay. But it's going to be the world's biggest threat. And it is in... Uh, I can't say. Yeah, so, so just like how you have... Yeah, it. You know what? Here in Atlanta, you have the uh, Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Uh, you know, and then, um, you know, you have like the Ferrari Stadium in the Middle East, all that kind of stuff. So the Fahrenheit Skate Center or Skate Facility, we haven't come up with the full concept name yet, but it will encompass Fahrenheit Center. So yeah, we'll be the, we'll be the first skate uh, facility that's actually uh, affiliated with a skate brand. And it's never been done you before. You owe me VIP interest in all, all, all of you guys are VIP with the night for the open. I don't say we got VIP and then we standing at the door. Sure. I'll make sure. I'll make sure. Hey, one thing I will do is show up. <laughs> You're welcome to show up. I'm, and you won't need a passport to get there. Yeah, that's true. 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 <laughs> this year, yeah. yeah, this year, this year, yeah, yeah. We've got a few delays, but it's went. happening this no. year. And every day, interviews will be in the building. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> cool. You, you heard him say it, y'all. VIP interest passes. Nah, we don't want to be waiting no line. No, no, no. I won't have you waiting on the line. No chance. But you interviewed me before, just as had the lead up, just before we opened, okay. right? I hope so. I yeah. want to be the first. I want to come back. I want to be the oh, first yeah. in again. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. Thank you, fine. Deal? 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 Yeah, no. All right. Deal. All right. Thank you for so I'm much. There. Got anything okay, else? Got anything about work? Or pretend to be <laughs> sick. <laughs> that's all work. Hey, fat. Hey, UPS. Y'all heard it here first. That's how okay, kind of work. I'm sick. Remember that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He did not, uh, Atlanta Skate Interviews is not no, no, <laughs> that disclaimer. No, we are not. That's we gotta go. I'm excited. I'm excited to see it now. Yeah. I got something to look forward to. If you got any closing remarks for your people across the pond, uh, um, definitely support um, for the love of skating. It's probably one of the best events now. And I love Trish. Trish, I love you. You know that. Every time. Like, all the, come to all of the events, but for me, like. Put a love of skating, Jody. Like he really takes care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, thanks, Jody, for our passes and stuff. And um, but, yeah, go support, go support all of the events, man, for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll be over there. We'll be over there to visit you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Far we can make it, we support each other and everything. I know. I know. You know you got warrants. You can't get it. From <laughs> oh, 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 no, no, oh, no, no. <laughs> I'm just playing. Hey, we, hey, we appreciate you so much. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you.